So as a result of the continuous advancement in technology, we are going to be learning some basic things that we need to know about programming. Although programming is on itself is a very wide scope. We have native application development, that is for the programming. We have a uh, web development. We have the scope is so wide, but I'm going to narrow it to HTML. The reason why I'm going to pick HTML is it will give you a very good idea on what you should know when it comes to developing a web page, which is also similar to how the native application, those, those, that means those software you use in your mobile phone, in your computers, and a host of other devices. So there are two basic aspects of it. You have the display interface, which is the interface that gives you the feedback that is showing you things on the screen. And we we'll have the aspect of the code that is the calculations, the programs that run at the background. The, what you are seeing on my screen currently is just a simple play a point game I designed. So I'm going to be playing it now for you to see. Then from there you understand what I'm saying. So from what you are seeing here now, this is the this is the display interface. What you are seeing here is a manifestation of what is going on in the code at the background. So going to be telling me as I press the button what should happen and host. Let's go to the code straight. So this is the simple web page I've designed. I've designed this site so that I'll give you a very good idea for you to understand some things about programming. Let's start from this side, the side of the code. When you're dealing with the web page, there are a lot of things, a lot of things are involved. The key thing that, it, that is involved is the content of the page, which is the HTML elements. Let me show you what the HTML elements are. Let me show you. Sorry, I'm going to be using the W3 School website. So this page is a native page. That means it's being hosted in my computer. I just typed it. Look at it here in my document. When you right click it, you come to open using your web browser. Then you click the Google Chrome or whatever uh, application you want to open it with. Then if you want to edit it, you right click on it. You come to open with Notepad. Open with notepad and it has this file extension .html. Look at it here. You can clearly see from the file name our page dot our page js. Then the three. Then after the dot, the next thing that follow it is the file extension. So understanding the file concept of file extension is very important. It tells the device what you should use, how you should read the code. So this is our simple page that we design. You can clearly see it. Our page dot js dot html. At the beginning here, this top. You see doc, document doc, doc type dot HTML. This is a file declaration. Then followed by the HTML body. This is the content. Then this is the body. You can clearly see there is a paragraph. Inside the paragraph, if you remember what I talked about tag, a tag is what you put inside a less than sign and a greater sign. Anything inside it is referred to as a tag. And each tag has what you call attribute. That means the characteristics, the features that you want it to carry. So the features can be maybe controls, colors, that is colors, the color you want it to has to have, and the host of other things. Then and when you put it, you put in an equal sign, then the feature that you want should be in where you put equal sign. When you put equal sign. What the feature that you want will be inside parentheses. Yeah, sorry, inside uh, quotation mark and in programming, any whenever you see something inside quotation mark like this, it refers to as argument. Let's take a look. This is a paragraph. This paragraph has an ID. That means you attach an ID. It has an identity, and the name of the identity is demo. Then this is the content. Whenever you put something inside it, whenever you put, you create a tag. A tag is an object. That means an object that holds things, holds information. Just like maybe a phone or a book that you store things that is how it is then you write things maybe the contact the phone book of your phone has a tag that keeps record of people's name and their phone number as well as other additional information that you want to put so the next thing that will follow whenever you type something after the tag let's say this is the tag after this tag the, what is inside this tag that means not inside the Less than sign or greater sign, but after the let after the greater than sign, it's first of the content. This is the content of the tag. Then the next thing that follows it is a closing tag. That means another. That is the closing tag. Now put it this way. That means you have that means you have created the tag and stored information inside. 
that is that is how this one is being generated we have it and we have a paragraph we have an id the name of the, the information of the id is demo then this is the content this content is what you see on your screen the tax will not show you are telling the device i should hold this paragraph but it will show it it will only show the content of the paragraph that is why if you come here you will see this paragraph this right of your scene then the same thing with the button you have a button here you have created a button which is a tag you have now attached a characteristic to it that means whenever you, you click it you say on you see at the beginning it starts with on click that means whenever you click it it should execute this function my function look at it then you now have this click me this click me is what you see on your screen but this button you will not see it the button with the it will create and something that looks like a button look at it here you can clearly see it it says click me then below here we have a script this script talks about the command that means the instruction in, in javascript this is written in javascript for those who might have learned python or other programming languages there are little little descriptions is best they all flow along when you begin to understand the basic concept of programming this function is telling us that this is a function then this is the name of the function it's just like you created a button but you must give the button a name is it an on button is it an, is it an off button or you created a a device you are, you must be able to give the device a name that is exactly the device may have function and a lot of things that you want it to do but it must have a name so this is a name so whenever you will call this name this code everything inside here will execute you are seeing so we now have you we have what you call a uh, declaration of variable this is a variable you declare it then inside the variable you now put document you should tell the uh, browser that you should go to the document and get any element that has this id demo where is the id the element that has the id look at it here the paragraph then you say dot then you now put this is this x is still referring to this x then you are putting dot whenever you are putting dot you are telling it to move to the next available information inside it then inside the paragraph you tell it to go to the style sheet i forgot to mention every web page has three things the code that runs at the background the content and as well as the style sheet let me open one page for you to see something here first if we open it here is it let's scroll up you will see something here look at it we have style you can clearly see so this style talks about how our content should be arranged in the web page should it be uh, should it has color should it have it has color how does the color appear how does our content arrange themselves should they be aligned should they be capital letter should they be small letter should they be bold should they be size all those things just like the features you have in microsoft word that is what this style sheet takes care of that is why it's advisable when you want to edit or write code or write anything you don't use microsoft word you use the notepad look at it this is how you assess the notepad look at it you can clearly see it here so if i want to open it you see it's telling me things that I can open with notepad so whenever you put something in notepad it's putting it in a plain text format for the device to be able to use and when you are saving it you have to save it using the file extension dot html just look at it our page dot html that means if I come to save it, let's assume I'm saving it for the first time. Okay, I'm saving it for the first time. If I click save. You clearly see it now. You see our page.htm. Look at it, the file extension. The hypertext as of transfer protocol, which is the HTML. Then our content is the we have talked about the content we have talked about this thing. You can see the same thing here too. We have a video tag at this very page. You have a video tag. You can see. Look at the video tag. They are attached some attribute to it controls controls is it autoplay yes we tell it to autoplay then this is the source srs it's telling us the source that is the location of the edition then where is the location this is the file name it's pointing to the file name of the video i'm telling you then as host or other thing then when you are done you save it then you will now close it it's telling us okay here we have this style it's taking taking us to that style that i showed you earlier then it's telling us pick the font and change the font to 25 pixels you see the argument is put in quotation mark. whenever you see something in quotation mark those are the information that you can easily manipulate to get different behavior from the web page so let's open the w3 school web page so that you see something briefly